of the Our Lady of Guadalupe. It's, a, it's a, a rich and beautiful story with a number of layers in it. I think the, the, the message of the gospel today, or one of the message of the gospel today, the message of the Advent season, or one of the messages of the Advent season, and the story of Our Lady of Guadalupe, they dovetail together, and that is this call to not be afraid. Juan Diego was, if you will, intimidated by the mission that was given to him. He was intimidated. It was too much. It was out of his comfort zone. He wasn't sure that's the way he wanted to go. That's what he wanted to do. So he had to, the Blessed Mother had to give him a little extra shove here and there to get him going in the right direction. And so, you know, we hear the angels say to Mary today, do not be afraid. And, you know, right after the scene that we have just had painted for us by the Holy Gospel, where Mary says, behold, I'm the handmaid of the Lord, you know, she becomes, she becomes pregnant at that moment. This is the Annunciation. This is when the Holy Spirit overshadows her and she conceives in her womb. And what does she do? Right after, she's conce right after she conceives Jesus, she runs to the hill country to Elizabeth, right? And I think about Mary carrying Jesus to Elizabeth, Zechariah in the hill country. And I know that around Mexico City, it's hill country. It's mountainous down there. And if you look at the Our Lady of Guadalupe, you will notice that this is pregnant Mary. She has a traditional, you know, Indian uh, dress. She has uh, a black cord tied around her waist that indicates that she's pregnant. And so what is Mary doing to uh, Juan Diego in, in, the, in the story of Our Lady of Guadalupe? She is bringing Jesus to Juan Diego. What did Mary do for Elizabeth and Zechariah? What did, who did she bring? She brought Jesus to them. What did Mary do to the people of, of Mexico, you know, 500 years ago? In a particular way, she brought Jesus to them. What is Mary's role in our life? Say, to bring Jesus to us. Yes, that's right. What is... What is your role in this world? That's right. To say yes to Jesus, to be filled with Jesus, and to bring Jesus to other people. That's ultimately what Our Lady has done. That is ultimately what we are called to do to say, yes, be it done unto me. Yes, Lord, be it done unto me. And then to bring the presence of Christ to whoever it may be. In her case, I mean, in Juan Diego's case, it was to the bishop there. And again, he was a bit intimidated by the tallness of the task. And he tried to run away, if you will. And, uh, and so there was a miraculous intervention, including beautiful flowers and, and this image of Our Lady in, as, a, as, a, as a, you know, Central American Indian. And, um, and it has been a, a source of, and I remember a few years ago, Deacon Mike was, was uh, preaching on the Feast of Our Lady Guadalupe, and he talked about the kind of coincidence of the Protestant Reformation and, you know, millions of people falling away from, from Catholicism. And then at the same time, almost simultaneously, we have Our Lady of Guadalupe and what had been a very challenging mission field for the church up into Our Lady of Guadalupe 
and then all of a sudden you had millions of conversions in, uh, in the Americas. And so what is back to the original kind of point of the homily in a sense is, what is Mary's job? What does Mary do? What is Mary the exemplar of? Say yes to Jesus, be filled with Jesus, and bring Jesus to the people that God has called us to. So Our Lady Guadalupe, pray for us that we may fulfill the great gift that life is to be filled with God and to bring that goodness to others.